So, Bonam Gani, welcome back to Zulu Lessons with me, Tando, the place for modern conversational Zulu language lessons. Mgani, this derivative we are working on right now, Impambosi, is Impambosi Yogwenzeg. Now, let's look at its negative in the present tense. Impambosi Yogwenzeg, it's the one where I said to you, it's kind of like saying, do we you see, so when you are able to do something, when you are showing the ability to do something, that's where you then add EKA to the end of your verb. We then use the ver a verb tanda. So it might sound funny in English, warning, sound might, might sound funny in English because now I'm saying likable, right? And you're thinking hmm, the ability for something to happen, yeah. The ability for something to be like a word. That sounds a bit funny. Then you are now going to now make this negative because we had said tanda, the verb, tonight, and then we are saying likable or lovable. So, which is tandega, right? And by the way, that is actually a very popular name in Sisu, a very popular girl's name, tandega. And actually, also, I'm of course, I have that name as well, tandega, beautiful name. I should have an aunt who is a Tandega, my mom's cousin. So anyway, um, now we had made the sentence and said, Uya Tandega, Uya Tandega. So he or she is likable, or he or she is lovable. Now let's do the negative. This is not. Right, but of course we are going to make the example for just the sake of doing this. So let's say she or he is not likable. Of course, he or she, the negative of that in the Zulu is aga, A-K-A, -A, aga. And of course we have to end with the letter I, I. So we'll then say aga tandeki, aga tandeki. Agatandeki, he or she is not likable. He or she is not lovable. I wonder who that is. But anyway, that's our example. Now let's say, let's make a different one. Let's say we wanted to say you um yeah, this one is going to be need a little bit more of an introduction here. In this Zulu, when we are speaking of general terms. You see, we are not really being specific with the, with the pronoun. We are just saying it, right? We will then generally use ku in the place of our pronoun, ku, right? So if I am saying I'm able to walk, you know, like to walk able, kuya hambeka. Do you hear that? Kuya hambeka. Kuya hambeka. Do you hear that ku? It's very general. I'm not referring to myself per se. I'm saying I'm managing to walk. You see? So it can be, say, for example, let me make a silly example, I think. Let me, yeah, let me make an example. And say, um, say you're speaking to someone who is ill and you're saying, are you managing to walk? Kuya hambeka. And then they would then say, yeah, bo, kuya hambeka. Do you hear that they are not mentioning themselves and saying, I am managing to walk. We don't say that. Don't say it. Do not put yourself there and say, kuya hambeka. That would be the weirdest thing ever. Because then it's like, you can be walked all, all, all over you. It can help. It's just a way. Don't say it. Do not say it. So anyway. Kuya hambeka is what you would then say. But now let's say you're saying you are not managing to walk. You know, say even if you're wanting to say maybe this path is not walkable, you know, so you then you don't you want to say it's not walkable. So then you would say, Aku hambeki, aku hambeki, aku hambeki. Do you hear that a ah, before your ku pronouns and the uh, e at the end of your verb? Aku hambeki. 
So that's another sentence example that we can make with that. And if you are coming up with others for yourself, go ahead and put them in the comments. Let me see how you're faring with this.